Okay, what's up? Uh, so I want to show you Anubis how to play the impacts. My goal right now is to hit free Kalo. So I'm like uh, also watching demos and on Anubis I have the most win rate. Uh, and I know that uh, Anubis is the most played map except Mirage, right? Mirage is the king of face, but right now Anubis is fucking puggy map as well. Which I like a, lo a lot. Why? Because I have the best rating on this map. Why? Because nobody knows how to play it. So, I want to show you like a simple things uh, on Tisa on CT side, how to basically play it and some uh, solo plays, what you can do. I will not like include those teammates. If you're playing with the teammates, you should be more focusing towards like a team environment and like understand the map as well. But I'll show you like a solo plays, what can you do? Because most of the times players are just lost. So first, if you win a round, okay, uh, you win a knife round. I don't know why, but a lot of people choosing CT side. I think it's just like, uh, how to say, um, like a, let's say instinct, because everyone thinks that every map is CT sided, which yes, except Anubis. Anubis is only, only one that is T sided. So yeah, uh, when I lose the knife and we starting as a T is kind of like a good mood. Um, so yeah, so. I want to show you how to play T side first because CT side is harder, okay? So on T side you have uh, some, I call it anchor points, okay? I like to call it. First is A main, second is connector, third is mid, and fourth is second phase of mid. B main you don't need, obviously, because CTs are not taking B main especially in packs like obviously in team environment when they get pushed they will re-aggress b main but they're not re-aggressing like why not let's re-aggress right now they're re-aggressing because they need some space and they know that b main is weak why is it weak because it's not important piece for t side hope you understand that i uh, i'm talking kind of like uh, you know i'm trying to talk like professionals but uh yeah i think you understand it re-aggressing is basically when um something let's say they took mid so you're re-aggressing to take like more space on the map it's gonna like work with it right um and even if it's not important for these uh, still it's uh, really valuable for cities because they have more space and i don't think it's useless for tisa but le let's say in packs okay so we have uh, mid, second phase of mid, if I can call like this. Because if you're taking mid, you can't take like a first phase plus second phase. You, you need to kill like two players. So, so yeah. Uh, so let's start with the first one. And that's always A main. So as a T, if you want to take A main, okay. I'll spawn like a, let's say it's you. So you need to know what they're throwing early, okay. Most of the times players smoke an A main early. Uh, I would also recommend this like a, a little tip that if they smoke in deep, like really deep, you see those boxes. Um, I don't know if you know it, but if you if the CT is going to smoke, he can jump on the boxes. He can kind of like a surprise. You have a little bit one way and advantage. So be careful about it. Uh, better CTs are mollying. I think at least better. <laughs> But they're basically mulling from this spot right there. Why? Because obviously you need to use smoke. If you use smoke, he has early info. That means if he don't hear your smoke, he can support mid early. He don't need to be in place. If you smoke, you can walk through and he don't know about it. So that's the reason why molly is better. So you wait for the Yotos, okay? Uh, if there is smoke, you can HE, whatever is up to you. But the main part is to take this space right there let me let me check this space right there okay so to take this space i would recommend to just throw molly yeah there is the molly so uh throw molly right there that will like bounce off so you're right there and you're throwing molly off the wall so something like this or yeah something like this uh, let's say the molly is bigger obviously i don't know and then from this spot you can throw flash that will bounce off you know what I mean. If you watch my, I think I have already covered like a really insane video on it with uh, the flash, so you can check it out. If you don't know, just like uh, it's like off the stone, okay? 
So it's something like this. And what you want to do is that after you throw flash, you want to peek and you want to peek pillar. Okay. So like this, you have this, uh, you have this uh, kind of space right there. This is your space. Okay. Obviously it could be behind the pillar though, but this is your vi vision. Um, so right now, what is important is that how to progress through. You have this area, which is good. Most of the times people will smoke you like this. You can use it as an advantage. You can go on this like a red table or was that and jump spot heaven or sigh or whatever to get early info, maybe kill. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend to push because most of the times you'll play close with MP9 or a shotgun or whatever, depends on buy. But I would recommend to just like wait. You can always push this up to you though. So what I want to say is that like from all the positions, aiming is the most like a passive one. So if you're not like a donk style, not like aggressive style that will like instantly push con and kill everyone, you wanna like take the, the map control like slowly, then aiming is for you. And like my play that I like to do is I like to smoke off the wall. So you bounce the smoke off this wall and it will land right there. And what this smoke allows is that Obviously from CT there will be some reaction. Maybe CT will tell someone and camera player will go to help him or something. What you can do right now is that you can search on left side a little bit. Maybe right there, maybe right there. Depends where you have this. The most important thing is that you have this uh, space. And what is the best thing about it is that even if you want to go B, you will throw this smoke and they have pressure and you leave slowly towards B and they still think that, okay, but someone could be there. So you're kind of like going in that pressure. Obviously, you need to know pre-fire. So you need to have good cross replacement to, to check site, heaven, check this, check bricks, check everything. You know, you need to have really good cross replacement. So you don't need to throw any of those suitors. You can just do it. But why is this smoke really good is that it's basically like deleting angles for you, okay? It's separating those angles. So you can, uh, let's say you can be right there behind the pillar. You can check this close. I don't know how you call it. I, I, me too. I, I, I just no clue how to call this thing. But you check back, say so you check heaven. And then you check bricks. You check this. Hold the side. Then you can maybe wait after the smoke. Then you check nitro, which is this position. And then you like a progress through, you kind of have a sight, right? So, yeah, this is for Amen. Let's talk about uh, Connector. Connector is the most aggressive position that you can take, I think, for me. Mm, I know I will not include some dual plays, but you can just say it in a solo queue, I think it, they will understand it. Go stairs and hold me con. So, if you have the best spawn, your mate will hold you stairs. And you're rushing, 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 and it's swinging con. And they're not expecting it most of the times. So this is really good. Uh, what you can also replicate is that if you have a mid spawn, then you can like uh, smoke deep mid like this. And you can go through a jump like this. But they will be prepared because they hear the jump. Mid player will uh, warn the, the con player. It doesn't need to work. You need to have a confidence. But the best thing about it is that if you kill early this con guy that is not prepared, then this B side guy is fucked. Like he's fucked. Because if he has some B main pressure as well, somebody is close to B main, there is no way that this guy can win those fights. He's sandwiched. And that's the reason why it's really good. And he kills this guy and you have whole B side and he won the round. So this play is worth it. Definitely try this. Um, as a con take normally, you can smoke it early, it's up to you. Also so that someone has smoked the con and you from this position you can smoke deep con and then go close and you can like a molly con and then like easily take it. From Vitality what I saw is that Zygo is going close, he's molly con like this and then someone is right there. I think it was pinks and he molly like this and basically this guy is like holding he's jiggling he gets double molly and he get that right and zyvo peeks through the smoke even and just kill this guy even like confirm the elimination so this is just like a team play but how you can f do it as a solo player you can just go close you you basically smoked instacon or you don't need to smoke depends on your spawn and then after smoke is fading 
you can just molly. And I, if they can have op, just jump to get the con. If if you think they don't have op, just pre-fire it. You you need to pre-fire it because they know that you have con right now. So you you just pre-fire it, and you take con. And if you have a this area, then they can go B main. And even if they smoke you, like they can't do anything. There's they need to re-aggress something. And most of the times in packs, as I said. They don't know about Anubis map, so they'll not regress anything, wait for a site, maybe they are 3B, but whatever, 5v3, it's easy for these, right? Mm. So, that means, what you can do as a solo player, in con, is that what I like, is smoke deep like this, and go through the smoke, and again, separate angles. Separate angles, check back plat. This is the best thing what you can do. And that's con. Okay. Last is mid on T side. Mid is the most complicated one. Okay. Mm. Most of the times players will smoke window. And what you can do is that from the start of the round you can throw uh, where is the molly? Right there. You can throw molly like this, boom, 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 and it will spread like this. That means, even if they smoke you, you have this area. You know you have this area. The only problem with that is that they'll throw HE. Like most of the times, people will throw HE something like this. So if you want to push, uh, I just clear it, my bad. But if you want to push, you get the HE, okay? But what is the best thing is that there is like a window, okay? Uh, I can't see it on the map, but you know what I mean. Like a window that you can like jump to water. And what is the best thing is that you can throw this utility with your teammate. You can just run to the window and a little bit go left side so you're not seen from anyone right there. Most of the times people will HE like this or they will most of the times HE the smoke. That means that the smoke is not over there. And if you're hiding, they can't see you. So they say, okay, maybe it's probably clear. If they HE smoke, you should go instantly close. If they don't HE, because obviously they'll not expect you that fast. If they don't HE, you can after like play timing and then go. And maybe someone can flash on the left side or you can flash for yourself. Um, and just like clear out those angles. If you don't know how to clear bush or I call it bush. Um, obviously you need to clear doors angle, which could be someone, and then you need to clear, you need to aim in this direction, okay? Right there. Why? Because CT can be over there, but also it can be in this corner. So if you will aim mim in middle, you have kind of like an easy time to micro adjust. This fight is hard, but if you train enough, it's good. Nico, what I saw from Nico, he basically aim in middle. So this is not like my theory or what that. It's from Nico. I basically took it from Nico because he aims middle. So I was asking myself why, and that's the reason. After you have the first mid control, then you need to take the second mid control. And this is... Uh, Really, like, this is not by the book. This is just uh, depends. Mm. If they have op, you need to be aware as fuck. You can't just, like, jiggle. You need to smoke them. So you can go right there in the corner. You can just, like, let's say, jump around if they have op. Okay, you don't see anyone. And from this position, you need to learn two smokes. You need to learn this. And obviously, template can, like, manually. And from this position, you also need to learn temple, right there, like like this, over. And from this camera, like this, you need to learn. And obviously camera manually, normally, like, boom, right? If you learn those smokes, then it's a really easy time, because you can, let's say you're alone, I would recommend to always smoke camera, and molly temple. If you have those utils, on mid, you you have everything. You can split. Depends on what team you have. Also, the times you have everything. You can chill out closer to the smoke, watching the molly if somebody push, and that's all. You kind of like a wander on, let's say. 
So that's how you should play T side. It's again a little bit T map, a little bit more, because like you can't do anything that much. Like if you have even this mid, that doesn't mean you win the win win the match. You need to have good team though, and you need to have teammates. Um, if you're alone, you took mid, like good job, but you can't do that much, right? So you need to have a team that will listen to you. If they don't listen to you, then like do those things, but you will not benefit from it that much as if you coordinate a team. So if you have whole mid, you can split easily. Um, so yeah, just learn from your mistakes, and this is basically how you how you can win on Tisa on CT side. Little bit, little bit like uh, people are struggling. So how to play is that one A side. Obviously, in pro scene is uh, like a mid support most of the times, which means as I said, he throws uh, he throws this molly, and he knows everything. He has basically this area as a early. He has this area. And this guy can just like support mid from camera, you know, just flash for mid, can boost him, whatever. He has he buying for him the seconds, you know. But in packs, uh, one is playing A. One is the mid player. One con player. One B main player. And last is rotation. A rotation towards B. Okay, mid player is rotation towards A, but uh, yeah, he's just a mid player, and this is rotation. Rotation is starting mid most of the times. Mm. It's also upper most of the times. Not most of the times, he's upper, yeah. And he's starting, he can start make and support a little bit, and then going to his B, grouping up teammates to re aggress B main if there is some reaction. Uh, support them and stuff like this. You can start B with them, whatever. He's just a rotation. So this is like a formation for a CT site, and uh, obviously a bit different. Some operas are starting always on B, uh, and this guy is support. It just depends on the team and like stuff like this. But we are playing pucks, right? So um, important thing is that. You don't want to use your smoke easily, okay? What I mean by that is that smokes are so important. Like, they're so important for the CT side. Because if CTs can't have smokes, then what barriers these have? If they go B main, they throw molly, they can wait for the molly. Or they can smoke it, go through. But if they throw smoke, they need to wait, right? If they go mid, they get bridge smoke. They can't go through, right? If they go A, they get A main smoke, they can't go through, or like this. If they go con, and they smoke con, they can't go through. So, smoke is the most valuable utility as a CT. And uh, if you will just uh, waste smokes every time, which means mid player is smoking bridge. Uh, what did I did? Undo. Okay. Um, then... What? What is this? I put smoke and it's like this. What should I do? What? Hmm. Can I copy it? Okay, uh, let's use one smoke. So, bridge, A main, uh, let's say. Connector is smoked by T's, right? But like B main, okay? So let's say we use three smokes out of five. B main smoke, mid smoke, A main smoke. What it does is that T's can push. But what they can, they can wait 20 seconds and they can push. And what it allows is that only rotational player has smoke and only con player has smoke. This kind of fuck situation, right? So that's the reason why A main player is throwing the molly, is better. And that's the reason why on B main you don't need smokes. You just don't need. Most of the times, T's are early in, uh, throwing molly on B main because most of the times it's not B rush instantly. It just doesn't make sense because rotations most of the times playing B. Okay. Mm. That's just the thing. So use only smoke for bridge. Early. That's all. Okay. Only for bridge. 
Uh, I'll right now, okay, this is like a simple example. I will right now tell you like if you what position you want to play, I'll tell you a little bit about the position. I'll not go in any details. This video has like already like, I don't know how many, tw uh, 20 minutes, sorry for that. But I'll go in terms of like players, okay? So A main player, as I said, A main player, throw Molly early and obviously you'll play A. So what you can do is you can play aggro a little bit, so you can just like watch out, chill out and like uh, have a smoke and just like jiggle. Most of the times anchors are jiggling and if they see contact, they can smoke it and they can chill out, watch out, you know. And after some time, what you can do is that you can jump on the box and surprise them. Only if you have a rotation. Um, or you can just like walk, always walk. Or what you can do also is that you can smoke. You can run, okay. You make in footsteps, you run. And you walk back and expect somebody to go through the smoke. This is working every time when I'm doing with, with op, okay. So also... You jiggling, you jiggling, doing smoke, or you can, you can even like go fountain, okay, or like even right there and like uh, smoke close. If you have a shotgun SMG, you jiggling right there, okay. You spot enemy, you smoke close like this. Uh, where is the smoke? Okay, right, right there. Come on. Uh, you smoke like this and you playing close and if they want to go through They need to face you with SMG or shotgun. So it's kind of deadly. So you want to play close range um, You you can play retake retake means that you're just playing retake like you you jiggling for info But you're playing retake you let them this space you let them a side so you can retake Most of the times when you don't have user stuff like this again, you're a increase so you're buying time this is, in my opinion, the worst positions ever. I hate it. I would never like to play anchor. But if you need to play anchor, then good luck. Mid player. So the best advice that I get as a mid player, I don't play mid, but I basically find it in demos, is that if they are taking mid control a little bit later, like mid round, and they just like molly, let's say they... They smoke window, okay? You chill in, you chill in, you, you smoke breach. And after some time, they molly, okay? They molly bush. And what you need to do right now as a mid player is that you need to also molly. But after a few seconds, so after like two seconds, they molly this, you molly this. Okay, why? Because if player is going there, he take him mid, he needs to wait for this molly. This molly on the bush fading and this molly rider is plus two seconds more. So you can go in bush and you're prepared to face this guy. This molly ends and you're playing fair 1v1. So that's the reason why you need to throw molly after their mollies, okay? Uh, you can play close, let's say. You can also boost through the window smoke early so you can get some easy kills. Uh, if they are not smoking you, you can go left side. And you can just like, you know, you, you're smoking bridge, but you know that they're not smoking in window. So what you can do is that you can go in corner, hold right side a little bit. You're not seen from the boost right there. If somebody's boosting, they can't spot you. And right now you basically prefer or not prefer, but like check, be ready for the boost over the smoke and you can surprise them as fuck. It's also a really good tip. And mid player is basically surviving let's say again it's really hard position every position on season size hard um and on puck cyber trick to just like be confident picking picking mid a lot of times like just peek your your mate can support you with flash over you just peek it no fear right rotation player i think i would say as a last or no okay so rotation player in solo packs is hard okay i'll not uh, tell it in team environment mm. I would recommend to, mm, in packs, mid player, okay, he's throwing, again, what the fuck is this, oh yeah, I forgot, okay, so this is smoke, not this, I don't know why I have it, this, so mid player, this mid player is throwing smoke and going bush, let's say, 
and you are having prepared molly for any rush so let's say flash flashes you throw molly so this guy have advantage if there is nothing then you can you can drop him smoke you drop him smoke okay so you can re-smoke bridge and you falling back towards b on b you're just chilling if you have good teammates you're playing on higher level then you set group up on b main i flash you obviously it depends on like a, you don't need to do it like every time but like it's like a to take free kind of like a space most of the times you can also play con like as a bait you know uh, but you're still playing like this because you're baiting your con player because you need to be rotate and you're rotating that's all you're rotating around mid and around b okay have good communication with mid player and if you're playing solo as i said delay them with molly if they push in then rotate to b and chill there okay b players so this is kind of like a boring positions again i say i don't like b players but whatever but it's puck so i'll not go into the much like a team environment stuff as a as a b con player you should just be jiggling most of the times they will smoke you right if they will smoke you as a puck player you can age it and you can just like no fear peek it uh but normally you just want to like a jiggle if you don't have shotgun or smg or something you can play close if there is nothing you're just jiggling with smoke if you see contact you smoke and you're trying to get this space then your b b main player drops you smoke and you're doing the same process after the smoke fades you're doing this 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 boom get a contact smoke in and they can't do anything with it so this is the b main uh, b con player most of the times people are don't know how to play it the 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 most important thing is to have like setups with your b player or like have a like a synergy with him so you have like some setups i don't know like mm, wait a second i think yeah like one is here right there w watching con and one is n like right there it's like off angle a little bit holding and if he gets a contact he just a little bit shoot but this guy instantly reacts and kill the player and if uh, this guy is holding and he gets the contact then he not peeking and this guy taking off angle position like this and this guy is just chilling and jiggling b man so a little bit setup that you can do with your mate it's a little bit complicated so you need to have like a good synergy with your mate b main player is not throwing smoke early don't do it please it's so useless b main player is chilling he's going to his prime position that you want to take could be olaf or pizza depends how you call it could be pillar could be side what, like whatever you want and he's chilling and if he throwing smoke to your mate obviously if you're playing solo and con player is not experienced or he didn't watch this video you not like what i want to say is that you you're not playing with your teammate then you can always throw the smoke on contact but don't throw it early it's the worst thing ever um so you can throw molly maybe early it's up to you you don't need to throw anything though you can just like chill jiggle jiggle and then molly or a smoke or whatever so and that's pretty much all hope you like it guys if you want other map on packs let me know what map you want as an x i think also i would uh, cover it up ancient because ancient again is my when i'm playing in packs i get fucking brain damage because nobody knows how to default on this t side how to basically play it i hope you get some new stuff uh, after watching this video, let me know how it was, what should I improve. Thanks for your support and see you next video. Bye.